A stunning admission was found out about Rugby Australia. Many of you have probably heard by now about Israel Folau. He was the former top star in Rugby Australia, where his contract was terminated a couple of months ago after he posted some anti-homosexual comments on social media, where he was calling for all those who were homosexual to repent for their sins. He was paraphrasing a couple of Bible verses on there as well. Now, as soon as Rugby Australia found out about this, he had been warned, but then eventually they had a meeting and they decided to terminate his contract. Now, a whole bunch has come out after this. Now, we're talking religious discrimination, lawsuits, everything like that. However, a bombshell news report was released that somebody in Australia, a news reporter in Australia, got a hold of this report. It was the code of conduct meeting that was held back in May. And stunningly, when asked the question, this is to one of the executives for Rugby Australia, they said, now, if Mr. Folau, let's just say, was to, let's say, you know, photocopy some scriptures directly from the Bible and then post those onto Instagram, would that be considered to be a violation as well? Would you have terminated his contract as, as the same? And they said, well, what, you know, what particular scriptures are you talking about? And they said, well, the ones that specifically referred to homosexuality being a sin. And they answered and said, yes, we would have terminated his contract even still. So even though he could have put the exact word of God, copied it, you know, word for word, just took a picture of it and posted it, they would have fired him anyway. So that proves right there that their problem is with the Bible. They hate the Bible. They call the Bible hate speech. Now, he didn't actually photocopy pictures of those Bible verses. He paraphrased them on social media. But if he would have done it the other way, their decision would have remained the same anyway. And that this is a very dangerous, dangerous precedent to set from Rugby Australia because it shows you they don't care about religious freedom whatsoever. They hate the Bible. If you're a Christian, you better not play in Rugby Australia because if you do, you're going to end up like Israel Fallout. Now, he is going to be taking his case to federal court. They were not able to settle you know, on, a, on terms of his contract. They were, the negotiations fell through. They could not reach a deal on that. So now it's going to head to federal court, and I hope he wins this because this would send shockwaves through not just Rugby Australia, but any other sporting organization there in the country that, you know what, you're not going to do this to Christians. They have every right to their religious expression, their religious liberty, just like anybody else does. Uh, and this is a bad look for Rugby Australia. This is a really, really bad look. But you know what? This is the last days. We're going to see this happening more and more, where they are going to look at the Bible as nothing more than hate speech. And if you agree with it, if you agree with the verses that are in it, then you will be deemed a problem, and they will do everything they can in their power to get rid of you. But guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this stunning admission from Rugby Australia. Let me know. Sound off down below if you enjoy these videos. Please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.